الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله. Pluralism is an attitude of accepting and respecting every beautiful way people come together to worship the divine. And that's the inclination that assures dignity, peace, and harmony. I wish that the beautiful work of the Islamic Center of Long Island and its interfaith initiatives move forward as we make communities come together in respect and harmony beyond tolerance. My familiarity with uh, the Interfaith um, Institute has been through Dr. Khan. And I must say that the concept and every phase of what I have heard about the program, I have not been that familiar with it myself, personally. However, the concept is marvelous. I think one of the best things that we can do to educate people. Most of the prejudices come from lack of knowledge. And we have to send out the positive side of uh, all the religions. Especially there are so much misconception about Islam. And it is our duty and our privilege to send the positive messages about the good things in the faith of Islam. And that's part of the care that I've seen at the center that people take with being a part of the community and being good neighbors. I find that the center is always receptive to ways to be involved in the community and to connect and to bring services to their members and bring things to the community from which we would all benefit. And I know we're gonna benefit from this new center. We're the, the biggest ecumenical and interfaith organization on Long Island, and we, we work with people from many different faith communities. And the Westbury Mosque has just been wonderful partners in interfaith dialogue, interreligious education. One of the things I've really appreciated about the Westbury Mosque is the way in which they've been willing to tackle topics in a respectful way that can be difficult to talk about. And I'm really hoping that this institute is going to do that in a whole new way of help us to have dialogue that goes beyond simply us expressing our differences to really learning from one another in a whole new way. And the creation of this institute will only further the work in a world that's more troubled than ever that we have to learn to get along here and hopefully that'll have an impact on people getting along elsewhere as well. The center here has been working very hard to enforce First Amendment rights, freedom of religion, and to gain acceptance and interfaith with all of the religions uh, in our county and in our nation. The work of ICLI has really been fabulous. Uh, it's such a wealth of information. The ICLI leaders have been quick to speak out in opposition to the attacks on other victims of racial and religious intolerance. I think that the Islamic Center of Long Island is extremely forward-thinking 
and understands that in a multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religious society, it is important to reach out to people of other faiths uh, and to reach out to people who have other kinds of cultural backgrounds. You guys have been raising money for a while, but you've been successful, and I salute and congratulate you.